Hey, 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 it's 93 degrees today, and I should probably be in the house getting cool after getting home from work, but I'm an addict, so I get my fix any way I can get it, even on a ridiculously hot day. They had some uh, double chiffon, uh, super bell, little mini petunia, and they had this other one here, it doesn't have a tag on it, so I'm not sure of the name. But those were discounted. And then I already had this uh, variegated barberry. And then I said, well, I like the coloration on the leaves there, which has the rust and the variegation, which is nice. I'm gonna go along nice with that. And then the uh, Super Bells have the yellow. So I think that combination would be really nice. So I needed a pot. So I got a pot, a tall pot. I already put some plant tone in it. I'm gonna plant this up and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. I gotta be quick. Well, it'll go, it'll go nice next to this pot which has already the variegated uh, barberry. It's a rose glow is the name, rose glow barberry. And then I have the uh, geranium in the front here. So just added that pot. I'm gonna plant it up and we'll see what that looks like if I don't pass up. Whew, so I mixed in the plant tone and I made an area back here. I'm gonna take the uh, rose glow and I think that'll be great back there. And then I'm gonna stuff those proven winner um, super bells in the front. Okay, here we are so far. I got the uh, double chiffon super bells planted right here. You rip the bottom of the root ball off so you don't have to plant it so deeply. I got that, the rose glow barberry, and then I'm gonna plant this last one right here in the front. And that'll be good, that'll fill out and cascade down and be a right amount of color that'll get me through the summer. Everything else is looking really good on this 91 degree day. Because it's all properly watered, there was enough rain leading up into this hot weather, so things are looking good. I'm gonna put this in here, step back, give you a look, and then I'm out of here. <laughs> Order that in good. I'm gonna call it done. I feel like I got my fix for today, you know? <laughs> if I don't touch soil and sit out here and get burnt in the sun, I feel like I didn't accomplish very much. You know, you can't work without play. For me, this is play. For me, this is the thing that brings me a little bit of joy. So, again, got the Rose Glow Barberry in the back. Uh, Super Bells by Proven Winners, which is like a lemony yellow on the sides here. And then I'm not sure what this other one is, but it has like a little coppery rust flower on it, which I think will go really nicely with the uh, Rose Gold Barberry, which if that becomes too much for this pot, I can always take it out and plant it in the back but for right now it'll be some nice fall color because it turns like a crimson red it was really rusty red so I think that's going to take me all the way through till fall I'm excited about that I have two more down here they were all purchased off the discount rack so I could have me a nice little hedge in the back once they become too much for these pots but for right now I'll enjoy them up here and Somebody said to me, don't you think you got too many plants? Or don't you have too many pots? And I laughed on the inside because there's no such thing. More is better. More is better. That's my philosophy. I mean, of course it has to be aesthetically pleasing. And this is my aesthetic. More. Texture. Layers. Composition. Color. It's all... 
is all gravy because if I ever grew to not like it, I can get rid of it. It's nothing permanent. Uh, but anyway, peace and blessings and happy growing. And I'll end on that note right there. A little bit of echinacea, that beautiful color. It's wonderful. I have these over here, but and I have some more right there, but that color right there is just brilliant. Peace and blessings and uh get to get out the sun.